What is going on, folks? Welcome back to another video. It's 100 degrees, man. It's 100 degrees in the middle of winter in LA. 98 to be exact, but you know, you get the point. Uh, what's going on? I don't know. Can someone explain to me what's the, the sun set in an hour and it is 328. You see that? The sun's about to set in an hour. It's 95 degrees. It was 100 degrees when I left. Uh, I can't even explain what's going on. I got, I got these $10 shades from the gas station and I love them. It's just a bunch of, it's a bunch of chaos going on today. As a matter of fact, look at this, what I saw on the freeway. What the hell is that? You know, I like, what is that? What's going on? What is going on? I don't know if anybody even knows. I don't know. What I do know is we're riding bikes. Today we're in LA. I saw some cool stuff off the freeway when I was driving out here last yesterday. Uh, I tried to make a video. I didn't even finish. I just like, I, I lost my train of thought and I didn't, you know, so I got some footage I'm probably gonna slap together with uh, yesterday and today. But uh, dude, I gotta avoid the heat in the middle of, of winter in LA to like halfway through November and it's hot as hell. I don't understand it at all, but that's what's going on. If you like the content, make sure you like the video. Maybe we can hit 3000 likes uh, on this video. That'd be great if we can, if not, all right i just tried to put my glove on backwards to let you know where my brain is right now deep fried i almost want to keep these on because the outside world is so bright and hot and i feel cool i immediately feel cool when i wear these shades 10 bucks from the gas station can't beat them uh yeah quick adventure today let's see what we got in the city here we go back on the dirt jumper today this thing is on its last leg dude it's in shambles right now it's making so many different weird noises the back wheel is so shot that if i move it hard enough with my hand it'll completely shit so i can't really do like uh tricks that well right now or pretty much anything when i pedal it creaks like crazy i think the chain's gonna snap soon it's it's down bad the bike is in it's it needs a complete rehaul mainly this back wheel area this this through axle i think is bent and that's the source of all the problems back here like the rim is fine the spokes are fine the hub i think is a problem and just the chain and and uh, yeah, other than that, I don't know. What's going on, buddy? <laughs> Trying to be on his vibes today. He's killing it. All right, well, locked up the whipper. We're going on a quick little tour. Don't really know what to expect out of this area. This is where uh, last time I was out here, I went that way to go ride in uh, Echo Park, bomb some hills. That was pretty fun. This whole area is real hilly, so that's kind of inevitable when you're here in the first place. I think I'm going to stop and put my phone in my backpack. It feels like it could easily fall out before I bomb this hill up here on the right. People chilling up, we got a cool mural. Anyways, I'm going my backpack away. I mean, my phone. Yep, we got a gigantic hill in front of us. We got a bomb. We got some cool artwork right here. Wait a second, that, uh, I don't know my Dragon, my Dragon Ball Z too well, but I think that's Majin Buu, right? I honestly have no idea, but I, I know that's from Dragon Ball Z. I haven't watched it since I was in like third grade. I want to say Majin Buu, probably wrong. Everyone's going to correct me in the comments and be like, Hicks, you idiot. That's blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, anyways, we got a big hill that goes this way that we're going to hit. But first we're going to tuck into this alley that I saw last time I was out here. And it looks pretty gnarly. As you can tell by the jaggedness, it is not paved at all. It's also quite a bit of trash. Looks like there's a fire set right there, if I'm not mistaken. Big pile of trash. <laughs> and then some taggings. <laughs> I don't know if you've read that, but it's pretty funny. Uh, yeah, nice hill climb into another hill bomb. A little bit more graffiti. This one's pretty steep, actually. That one's fast. Yeah, that's super quick. It's a nice little drop. I feel like I'm dodging stuff that's not even there. <laughs> I'm like ducking and, and weaving. Very cool. First alley of the day. Hill bomb. Climb another hill. We're actually gonna make a U-turn. Kind of got swept away with the traffic right there. Boom. So this is all pretty much a new neighborhood for me. I meant to go down Beverly, which is still the street we're gonna end up going down, but figured I'd take a couple detours first. See what they got going on out here. Can't say no to some easy hill bumps. Nice. Look at that bug. Look at that bus. Sorry, my brain, like, when I'm going downhill, like, everything's going so fast. My brain doesn't, like, process what it sees properly at first, usually, so. Dude, it is rush hour. The traffic is kind of nuts right now. I gotta be careful. Lots of alleys that I have not explored on this side of town. Huh. I saw something right in front of me right there, but I, may, I gotta make this left. See what's up here, cranking. Hope I don't break my chain today. Big old puppy. 
Is that the same hill I just went down? This is kind of sketch. Super rugged, steep downhill. This is someone's backyard. That's why it's sketch. Oh my God. Oh yeah, I'm good, bro. <laughs> good thing I got brakes, huh? Oh yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> oh, thank you. Face is a death right there. Good thing I stopped. I sensed that there was gonna be traffic coming. So I didn't want to go down that hill too quick. Look at this dog, he is so hungry. Oh. <laughs> Looks like you wanted to play. Anyways, back down this hill and make a left. I saw this cool little bank. Right here, look at this. Never seen this before. Oh, that's great. That is an awesome spot. I want to go down fast and carve it a little bit before I hit the brakes. Hopefully I don't break my chain right here. It sounds like it's going to snap. Construction everywhere. It's crazy how much remodeling is going down in this part of town. Like for instance, those apartments over there in the distance, they weren't there even just a couple years ago. Those are brand new. That same boring style is what you're seeing all over the city now. Just rectangle, gray, white, black. The same fake polished wood floors. I wanna wait for these guys to do what they do before I go hit it again. <laughs> Dude, what's that? Uh, it's like Austin Powers, you know, when he's stuck in the hallway, going back and forth. <laughs> it's all good, they got it. Yeah, cool. Straight into traffic. Oh god. All right, and we continue. Oh, they built a target here. That's actually new. Didn't know that was there. Okay, that is a fun spot. Never knew that was there. Happy that I do now. All right, mobbing on the big bike. Happy that it's running for today. I don't know when it's gonna like be on its last leg. Actually, like chain's gonna snap, back wheel's gonna break. I mean, when that does happen, it's gonna suck because. It means I'm gonna have to go back on the BMX, which I'm really not too excited about riding lately. Oh, look at this downhill. Gotta hit brakes there, even though it's a four-way stop. You never know, people run stop signs. Gotta be careful. Nice. Dude, what a cool little neighborhood. I never really came ride around this little part of town before. But there's so much stuff to do in these little alleys and hills everywhere. Only thing is I've been going downhill this entire time. Look at this ice cream truck. It's so old school looking and cool. Tiny. Yeah, we've been going downhill this whole time. So I mean, it's going to be a gruesome trek going up the hill to get back. I'll probably walk it honestly, because I don't know if my back. Oh my God. I don't know if my chain can handle it. Like. I feel like it really might explode if I go try and crank it up a hill really hard. Actually, we're about to find out a little bit. Just somewhat going up this hill. It's pretty damn steep itself. Ay, ay, ay. Yep, we're walking. I feel like my chain about to like. So on a bike, like when your chain starts to get too old, like this chain's probably like a year old, even if you keep greasing it, it stretches out. Especially if you're pedaling uphill and you're on a single speed, which means you can't change the gear. Uh, it, it wears the chain out really quick, so once it starts making noise, it's bound to just snap one day, and uh, usually it hurts when that happens. <sighs> Not trying to have that happen, so uh, we're chilling. All right, gotta change batteries on the GoPro. We keep going that way. All right, he's slinging the hat out for a second. Probably a bad idea. I might get sunburned, so probably throw it right back on. We're actually gonna cut across this street right here to the left. Here is one of the most hood 7-Elevens in the whole city. We're not concerned about that right now. We're trying to get across the street. <laughs> These kids are kind of nuts for skating down this street. It's a lot steeper than it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and say that. We're able to successfully get across and boom. Damn, looks like a car ran into this fence. That's why it's bent like that. I'm gonna go ahead and get off this street. The sidewalk is claimed. As you can see, maybe we could slide back on right here, potentially. Nah, we're not even gonna, not even gonna do that. We're still going off the beaten path. We're supposed to be going straight, but you know me, I just like to make uh, zigzags and go off the beaten path. Looking for another downhill stretch. Oh man, I didn't even know this was here. I gotta keep getting off. 
the sidewalk right as I get back on. All right, looks like we're clear after this. Nice bit of speed. Check right. Oh man, I thought a car was coming in flying, honestly, out of my peripheral, but it was going that way. Sick. Oh, what is back here? Is this an oil, oil pump? Oh wow, look at that. There's an oil pump just chilling. That is not something you see every day in LA. Huh. Wow, the things you see, huh? Oops. All right, oh, we keep cranking up this hill. We're gonna make a big U-turn up here, up ahead. Uh, this used to be one of my favorite hills to bomb. As you can see, it's all now tagged up. It wasn't like this before. Like this stretch used to be super clean. No trash, no abandoned cars, no taggings. But uh, that's long gone now. I'm gonna go ahead and pedal through this glass. This used to be my car wash when I lived in downtown. I will drive all the way to downtown, from downtown to over here. Get my car wash right there. Pretty good price. Anywho, I don't know how we got on that little whole detour. Actually, wait a second, look at this. What is going on back here? Can I get in there? Oh, you can. There's a hole in the fence. I gotta check this out. This looks sick. Oh, this hole is so tiny. I don't even think my bike will fit. Oh no, we're good. Oh. Nice. Little trail. Gotta be careful not to fall off. Lots of paraphernalia. Imagine jumping off of this. That is a cool 10 foot drop. I think I'm good. Yeah, there's people in that tent. I'm gonna go ahead and get out. Don't wanna disturb on anybody. Sometimes I just gotta explore stuff. All right, I think they were yelling out for me, but I'm gonna keep on going. Don't think I can make it through this. Nah, I'm not even gonna try. House of Flowers, huh? Well, if you have any questions about what that place is, you haven't spent enough time in California. Let me tell you that. All right, back on track here. We gotta make it up to Beverly, up this hill. I used to climb this hill every single day when I was posting videos daily and I lived in LA. This, this hill leads away from MacArthur Park back towards LA. Climb this, make a ride on Beverly, go straight, led straight to my house. Kind of. Manuel's feeling really good on this bike lately. Oh God, still take a lot of balance. There's another fire. Hey, what's up? Damn, looks like I was just on fire, like today. Crazy out here. I gotta start wearing pants. I feel weird wearing shorts around all this chaos. Oh, and long sleeves. That was an accident, I'm not gonna lie. Holy mother of gosh, it is hot. As Hamlin's will say, great googly moogly. It is quite literally hot as hell. Swerving on grandma. Whoop. Oh, dude, it smells like fire everywhere. I swear all these fires just happened today that I just saw like two in the last 10 minutes. There's like the lingering smell of ash in the, in the sky, you know what I mean? It's pretty cool artwork on a brand new construction. It's all good, it'll get painted over anyway, but looks cool. All right, as we look left and right going down these streets, there's various things, there's hills, there's tents, you know, the regular. We're gonna keep pushing along this way for just a bit. Nice little hop. And another one. Beautiful. Oh, two funny stories about this corner. One, this is Michael Blumhouse's personal office. You know, the guy behind Paranormal Activity and Insidious, all those movies? Office right there. Got a little bit of everything. They got a boot on there. Damn. There's real cool graffiti here. But uh, they cleaned this spot up a lot. There used to be tents all here. All this whole sidewalk was tents. And uh, no longer is it like that. Yeah, you gotta have some nerve to come graffiti here because you know, the people who live right here, they, uh, they won't allow it from just all anybody. Uh, but yeah, the last time I came through here, I was coming up this way in a car. I actually still have the footage from this, but I never posted it because it was such a crazy story. A car came turning right, right here and almost hit me by like this much. 
So I stop right there. I stop right here. And I'm looking around like, you know, I look back at the car. I'm like, yo, what the hell? The lady, there's a girl driving, hops out with a knife. Hops out with a knife and she's pissed. Like she's, she's looking around, she's looking at me, but I could tell I wasn't the target. Then she looks at this dude who was standing right there and was like, you mother after you. I can't believe, you know, something, something. Basically, the guy pepper sprayed her dad or something. So she hopped out of the car with a knife and pressed him. And he goes running into the street, almost gets hit by a bus, and then comes around here and then goes hides in a tent. And then some other people come out and try and protect him. And then she gets on the phone and like eight dudes show up and they chase the guy down the street. And one of them threw a screwdriver and it landed in somebody's window. And it was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. I sat here, I watched the whole thing. I got it all on footage, but I never posted it because that's just a little too crazy for YouTube. You know, I don't think that needs to be out there like that. But yeah, it happened right here. Funny story, the stuff you see riding in the streets, you know, you never know. And yeah, right across the street, back when I used to work in advertising uh, for films, we did some stuff for Insidious and that is Blumhouse's studio, which nobody would ever know because it's very inconspicuous until now. Anyways, we are bombing down the street. Yep, that's what's happening. And we're almost at the bottom. Flying. I think my grips are loose. Yeah, they are. Holy cow, we got speed. Thank God for brakes. World famous Tommy's hamburgers and hot dogs. If you want to spend the next day on the toilet, come eat here the day before. The journey continues. We are headed southbound finished our little downhill stretch of beverly i kind of ruined it by not fully charging i was talking about the movie studio or whatever but uh, this is where the uphill journey begins so you know that's gonna be fun this is why i usually cut this part out it's really just me cranking up a hill there's not much to talk about or see or do it's just me torturing myself trying to make it back to the car i'm an idiot i went the wrong way Alrighty, we got a hill bomb right in front of us and then we're gonna roll into some downtown LA footage of more hill bombs and uh, a little bit of traffic action. So here we go. No handed hill bomb, imagine. Worst idea you'll ever have. I already have sweat in my eyes. That's the worst is trying to ride with a bunch of sweat in your eyes because it's just like, it makes everything so much more unpredictable. You never know when you're gonna have to completely blink and close your eyes because they're just too full of water. Ironically, going down a hill kind of helps with that. Makes it a little less uh, watery until you're done. Like right now, now they're soaked. Thank you. Oh, sidewalk closed ahead, great. It's like I'm going this way anyway. Every time I go up a hill, I go back down one and then I gotta go back up it. What we got here? Oh my God. I don't even know what the plan was right there. I don't even know where I am, but I feel like I'm taking a shortcut. I may or may not be wrong. <laughs> I think I am though. I feel like it's come sort of diagonal to where I came from. I should probably consult the map. Let's go up this gigantic hill and do just that. Oh man. Walking up a brutal hill with the wrong shoes. What's going on, man? All right. Oh Lord, made it. Gotta watch your back everywhere you're at. No matter what. Six and 12 o'clock, that's what my dad always told me. Wow, what a great neighborhood to ride in. Isn't it funny the stuff that like, you pass by every day and then one day, you take the time out of your day to go see what you pass by every day. Really like, you know, examine it or get in there. And you're like, wow, I can't believe I've been missing this the whole time. You know, whether it be like a little place for that you eat at or whatever. Um, I gotta get across the street without dying. And the traffic looks hectic. So that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, we're about done. Uh, we're gonna do a couple more hill bombs. We got one in particular that's gonna be uh, fun. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. I got some other footage from downtown. I don't know if I'm gonna include it in this video. Might try to squeeze it in somewhere else, but uh, yeah. All right, damn, this car caught on fire completely. Sheesh. Maybe this is the smell of the fire. That smells like fire too. Anywho, <laughs> this was supposed to be our final hill bomb of the day, but I didn't think I'd see a carcass of a vehicle Meow. vroom flying straight to our right turn boom perfection at its finest i remember when i had my prius i brought it here 
they ripped my ass off. That's the only story I got about that place. Wow. That is a lot of trash. Oh man, one long, brutal hill climb to top the day off. Feels good. You know, partially why I make videos is for your guys' enjoyment. The other half is for my fat ass to exercise because I need to slim down. Now at that point where I got like real good muscle mass, you know, I feel strong. I just need to like lose some of this chubby, you know? Got too much belly fat. I hope you heard anything with this giant truck next to me. Look how big that thing is. Oh yeah, please let me stop. This hill is work. Ay, ay, ay. The hill's not done yet either. Ay, caramba. Oh man, please, please see me. Thank you. I'm so inconsiderate. I forget to say gracias. Gracias. <laughs> gracias, amigo. All right, we made it. Oh, God. Almost crashed into that poor guy's bike. Oh, what a mission that was. I had a lot of fun today. We went in some places I've never ridden before, and that's always a good thing. You know, new territory. If you enjoyed the video, you watched all the way to the end, please don't forget to leave a like on it. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed it, where you want to see me ride next. That's it. I had fun. I hope you did too. See you guys in the next video. Peace.